morning everyone um starting off this vlog 7 22 i'm about to go in to prometric and take my audit cpa exam i felt like i'm gonna throw up the entire way here i'm so nervous for this exam like way more nervous than reg i don't know what it is i'm trying to just be calm give myself a pep talk like i did in the last vlog when i took the exam um i know i'm capable of this you know like i studied really really hard i've put in the work so the only thing standing between me and the passing score is my mind at this point. So I can do this. I can do this. I will pass. I've worked really hard for this and I'm capable of passing and going in there and doing my best and I'm going to do my best and that's all that matters, but I can do this. So let's go take it. I feel like I'm going to be sick. So I need to just get up and leave and go and get it started. Hello everyone. Good afternoon. It is much later and I didn't, I was planning on like getting clips of me getting Starbucks and stuff this morning, but everything was just thrown off because they didn't have what I had like mobile ordered. And yeah, I'm back home from my exam. And clearly, as you can tell by like my composure right now, I really don't think it was bad, but I was so much more nervous for this exam. I don't know if y'all could tell in the first clip this morning. I started crying a little bit on my drive there. I was just super stressed about it a lot more than Reg because audit's just kind of subjective and hard. But I prepared even more for audit, I feel like, than I did for Reg. And I feel like that really helped. Um, I like just felt very prepared. I was honestly expecting it to be a lot harder, which worries me because I've seen a lot of people say that they came out of it feeling great and didn't pass. But I don't think I have that feeling because I fully prepared. So it's like, would I really have that much of false confidence if I prepared as much as I did? I don't, I don't know. I don't find out my score for three weeks to the day, which really sucks. Cause I'll already be like two and a half weeks in the studying for the next section when I get my score back. But all in all, I really don't think it was terrible. Um, I'm exhausted. I really did not sleep last night from like when I got in bed at like 11, 15 until like three. I'm putting on pimple patches because I'm obviously I'm breaking out so bad because of stress and stuff. I think I got hair product right here, which is why I think what I think this is from. So I'm putting these on and it's like 12.30 and I'm starving because I haven't ate since like 5.30. So I'm probably gonna like just make something random here. I don't really have much, but I'm super thankful that hopefully I have two done and I don't know, I, I feel pretty good about it. Like I don't feel, it's weird because the way you feel right after, starts to change like with each day that passes. So it's like rank, my initial reaction was like, you know, that wasn't really terrible. Like I would compare it to kind of how I felt for reg. And I felt pretty good coming out of reg, maybe even a little bit better than reg, but I don't really want to say that. So the apartment is a literal train wreck um, just from being really busy with studying and everything. So I'm going to get it straightened up just because my brother and sister-in-law are going to come over later. But I'm going to do a little weekend in my life because I'm going to show you all what I do when I'm not studying because I'm not going to be studying from today until Tuesday probably for my next section. I just don't really have a lot of time to... I don't have a lot of time left to take two more when one of them is like the biggest one. I figured I would take on a weekend so y'all could see something besides like my at home all the time studying content. So fun stuff planned for later today. I'll just take y'all along as I go. Before I start getting ready and everything, I wanted to tell you all about the sponsor of today's video, which is Drop. Drop is a completely free rewards app that gives you cash back when shopping with your everyday purchases. You just shop how you normally would and earn points, and they have over 400 brands, which is incredible. And then as you accumulate points, you can cash them in for free gift cards. They have clothing, tech, groceries, cosmetics, so there's really a lot of different categories that you can work with. It's super easy to use because Drop does all the work for you on the app by tracking your purchases and then automatically adding those points to your drop account, whether you're shopping online or in store. And then you can immediately redeem those points in the app for gift cards. You can shop within the app at over 400 of the brands they have to offer, or you can link a credit and debit card and shop in person like you normally would. So when you download the app for free and you link a credit or debit card on the app, which is completely safe, you automatically become a premium member. This helps you unlock extra points and get premium offers from brands like Trader Joe's and Uber, and then you receive 
receive bonus points every month and you also have extra opportunities to earn even more points through games and surveys on the app. As a premium member, you can shop at stores in person using your same link card and automatically earn those points when you're shopping in person. It's a great little money saving hack for shopping you are already gonna do anyways. For example, I got some stuff from Sephora through Drop and got some points of course and I really needed, um, I wanted a new foundation because I was running out of my foundation that I was using so I got this from Sephora. It's Dior Forever Skin Glow. I'm gonna wear it later tonight. And then I also got this because my friend was raving about it. She told me it was really great. And um, I'm gonna try it out as well. And I just wanted something compact so I wouldn't have to take blush, bronzer, and highlighter every time I traveled somewhere. So I got all of that on Sephora from shopping through the Drop app. I have Sephora, Nike, Lululemon, Ulta, Target, Uber, and tons of other brands. So you really can just find what you're looking for on the app. And they even have Starbucks, Trader Joe's, Walmart, and Amazon. So you can really see the range they have there. So it's really a no-brainer and it's a great way for you to save money for shopping you were already gonna be doing. And you can redeem gift cards for places like Apple, Sephora, Amazon, Starbucks, Starbucks and much, much more. And it's so great because I can just walk into Target or Trader Joe's like I always do when I'm normally shopping and automatically earn those points through job. I don't have to like scan my receipts or do any coupon clipping, so it makes it super seamless and easy. If you want to shop online through the app, it's really, really easy to do so. Just click on the store you're looking for in the app and then it'll take you to the store's website and then you just check out like you normally would. So it's not really like any extra of a process. And then as soon as you make your purchase, you'll automatically get those drop points into your account. So yeah, if you're looking to earn some points and get some gift cards for shopping that you're already doing, definitely download Drop. It is literally a free app and a free way to save yourself some money. It's really a quick process earning points in the app. There will be boosted offers within the app. Like for example, Sephora is doing 100 points per $1 spent when it's normally 35 points per $1 spent. So that really shows how quickly you can accumulate your points. So I have a super awesome offer for you all. Just download the app for free and download it with my link below so that you all can get your bonus 10,000 points after you get your first thousand points through using my link in the description. Thank you again so much to Drop for sponsoring today's video. Okay, everything is nice and clean for the most part. Um, I haven't gone to the laundry yet. It's just not something I want to do right now. So I will probably save that for later. I might do it soon, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready because I would like to go to Griffin's family's house so I can see them because that's where he is right now. But yeah, Griffin is watching the Texas game with his family and um, I want to go over there to watch like the beginning of the Astros game, but my brother and sister-in-law are meeting us over here later this evening. So it's kind of hard to decide like do I want to drive like 20 minutes to his family's place and 20 minutes back. It'll probably take longer than that because of traffic um, just to be there for like an hour and a half, which honestly it's a decent amount of time. But I guess I'm gonna see what time it is when I'm done getting dressed and ready. And I was like in a shower, but I've honestly kind of gotten sweaty from cleaning. So I'm gonna do that. But I really just wanted to get cleaning over with. I'm saving mopping for Griffin when um, he's home later, but I just figured I'd go out and do everything else because my hair was all over the floor. I need a robot vacuum so bad. And he normally vacuums and mops like I'm in charge of like countertops type of situation and dusting and then he's in top of, in charge of like floors but I was like my hair is just balling up everywhere and I need to vacuum it like right now um because I want everything to be clean when I come home later because that's the best feeling ever and it's been a mess for a week so but it's too late now I just miss you Okay, quick little outfit of the night and story time. Okay, so I need to like get this in a way where I can show my entire outfit really easily in good lighting. So, um, Princess Polly blazer from my last haul. I can use my code AbbyXO for 20% off. Watching the Astros right now. And this top like little mock neck eyelash like little sweater. It's so soft, I got it from ASOS. Um, this belt was a gift and jeans are Zara, and then these boots are also ASOS. I don't know if y'all can see them. Um, I had a really hard time picking an outfit because I felt like I had so much cute individual stuff for like putting together an outfit was really hard, but I feel, I really like this one. It's just like a bunch of different neutrals going on. 
the shirt and the boots don't like match exactly, but I think it'd be a little weird if they did. Anyways, but yeah, story time. Um, ordered Chipotle like forever ago, like an hour ago. And it like was taking abnormally long to deliver. Like it normally takes like 20 or 30 minutes here. And I was like, gosh, I wonder where my Chipotle is. I went to call the office because like I checked the door like three or four times because they just like dropped off outside our door and like, I got a picture from the DoorDasher because I ordered it on the Chipotle app which goes through DoorDash and I got a picture of it but it was super blurry and I was like okay well it's not outside my room and I checked outside my door literally one minute after um okay I'm hot I checked outside my door literally one minute after I got the picture so it's not like I was late to checking and I checked a bunch before that too so I was like okay someone either stole my food and they like forgot this in the picture until just now and it's been here for a while or um they just delivered it to the wrong room and I was in the elevator to go take L out and I got a phone call and I was like how did the person get my phone number but my phone number's on the receipt it's on the bag and I was like I'm assuming we're neighbors um but I have your Chipotle, I think, if this is Abby. And I was like, oh yes, I'm walking my dog. I'll come and get it. And he just like left it outside his room. I got my usual, I get Chipotle like once a week. It's just like such a, it's so good for so little money. Like literally it spills like $10. It's, I get a vegetable with white rice, black beans, light veggies, light cheese, guac, cause it comes with the veggie bowl, not, and it's not extra. And then corn. I think that's everything. I was like wondering if I said everything. And then of course I get chips with it because the chips are so good. So I'm gonna eat this. I am literally starving. All I've had today is a PB&J, a little yogurt with granola, and like half of my overnight oats this morning at like 5.30. So I am very hungry. Good morning everyone. It's the next day. It's Sunday. It's actually hilarious because I was so excited like for this vlog and everything because I was like oh my gosh it's gonna be great because I have all these plans for the weekend because last night we were supposed to go watch the game which we did and then go to a haunted house so I was like oh it'll be something fun for fall in the vlog. Well we ended up just like being out like pretty late and by the time we actually had gotten a lift to take us there and it was only like 15 or 20 minutes away but our lift like canceled after we had been waiting 10 minutes and then we were just kind of like reassessing we were like okay well should we spend 30 dollars on a lift to like go somewhere for like 15 minutes and then come back so we ended up just staying out and going to a different bar but we went to um pitch 25 in east downtown and then we went to uh miss carousel i think is what it was called in east downtown and we were out so late so i'm exhausted i literally slept till 10 30 who is she but um i really was all supposed to, not supposed to but um i was considering going to austin today just for the day um griff and i both were gonna go my one of my friends from my master's program is in austin for the weekend with her boyfriend so i had told her i was like look i'm taking my exam saturday so it'll just depend on how i'm feeling sunday so i'm just like so exhausted from this last week of studying um because it's like I just need to like chill and last night being social was like so great but also like anytime i'm social i need to like also not be social for a bit and i'm laying in bed i just uploaded a video or got it uploaded it was already scheduled and everything and i made my coffee and it's literally noon so yay um but i think i'm just gonna have a bed day you know like i really want to go shopping like fall shopping go to like home goods tj maxx i wanted to go to like some thrift stores and stuff too but I don't think Sunday is the best day to do that. I think I would get really overwhelmed. And also I'm just exhausted from last night. Still gonna get some like good footage outside of the apartment and stuff for y'all like tomorrow. I'll carry this vlog into tomorrow because I think tomorrow I'm gonna do all the shopping and everything. But I have a lot of computer work to do. Um, pretty much just getting my podcast Instagram content done for the week. I have to finish planning my podcast and record it today. And I have to do onboarding for my job that starts in January and a few other random things. So I'm just gonna sit on my computer and do all of that, plan out our meals this week, 
um, plan out the grocery list. So I can do that tomorrow too. And yeah, let's just chill in bed today. I'm so excited. I never do this. Um, I'm still working, but I never just lay in bed all day. So I'm like actually really excited for this and Ella's absolutely loving it too. Good morning, everyone. Hello from my car. Sorry for the sun. Like, I'm trying to not have it do this right now. I'm literally trying to, like, not have the sun in my eyes. Um, but I'm in the parking garage right now, and it is 9.40 Monday morning. Just pretend that today is, like, part of the weekend. And this is just, like, still part of the weekend of my life because yesterday I ended up just, like, laying in bed pretty much the whole rest of the day, like, since the last clip y'all saw. Um, I got a lot of work done on my computer, though. So that's what I did yesterday, and then last night we went over to um, our friends that live in the same apartment as us. Um, it's just, like, another couple that we're, like, really good friends with. And we had dinner at their place and then watched football and just, like, hung out, drank some wine and, like, chilled. So that was last night, and then when I got home I had to record my podcast. So I was up until almost one because we were over there, like, kind of late and I had to finish put some finishing touches on planning out my podcast because it didn't feel finished so that took me about like 45 minutes and then I recorded it and then I had to wait for it to like export and upload so I woke up at like eight but um yeah we're gonna go get some coffee and we're gonna go do a ton of fun stuff I'm not gonna like list it all out here because I'll just take y'all along with me but I have been dying to go to like so many different places and not even like anything crazy just like your typical Norton Rack, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, like that kind of vibe. Um, and then maybe like a few other like little secondhand and thrift stores that I've like really had my eye on. So I'm going to go to all those places today, but um, it kind of sucks because I'm not used to everything being so far apart. Like some of the stuff is within like 10 minutes of each other, but obviously some of the other places I want to go are like on the other side of town, but it's okay. We're just going to make a day of it and have a great time. I have grocery pickup later today, so we'll do that, but let's go ahead and get started. But first, coffee. Okay, I was gonna try a new coffee place this morning because y'all know I like to like every few weeks, probably like every two weeks, I try to try like a new place. I've been going to, or I went twice to Segundo over the last two weeks because that's just like my favorite right now. Um, but I came to Blendin, which I have been to before, but it's been a while since I've been here to get this drink. Please look at it. It's literally beautiful. Um, let me show in the, not in the direct light, like look at this. It's made with like their own blueberry infused oat milk and then it has like maple and brown sugar syrup or something. So super complex. I need to like look up what the actual drink is. Um, an espresso and it's a latte. So it's like a homemade blueberry infused oat milk latte but I, um, with nutmeg and brown sugar or something. And my friend Savannah, our friends that we were at last night, she was, she goes to Blendin like all the time and she said that this new one is so good. So I'm going to try it, but I have to stir it first, but I want to take a picture of it because it's really pretty. And then I got a muffin because I'm like, I had yogurt like literally an hour ago with granola, which obviously isn't much, but she had told me that the raspberry glazed like old fashioned donut there was really good. So I was going to get that, but they didn't have it. So I'm really sad, but I got this like vegan and gluten free little blueberry muffin instead. Um, my appetite gets so messed up right before my exams and I have a really hard time stomaching a lot of stuff to eat. So I think that I just feel really hungry today because I feel like it's the first day my appetite's been like fully back. But yeah, I wanted to try blend in today to get that drink. She said it's really good. Let's send a picture to Savannah. Let me try this real quick actually on camera. That is so good. It's so like, it's not like a fake artificial blueberry. That is like delicious. They, Blendin like makes a lot of their own like homemade type of syrups and stuff like that. So that is phenomenal. If you're in Houston, go try the Sapphire. It's really good. Not tired. I can hear the rain just falling. It's cold outside, and I can feel like calling. 
Okay, everyone, it is close to 2.30 and I'm home now. I'm making some of the Thai vegetable wontons from Trader Joe's right now. And I will give y'all a little haul of the things I got. For the most part, shopping today was just like a bust, but um, I went to Home Goods, Marshalls, because it was like inside of Home Goods, um, Lululemon, Anthropology, and um, I went to the second shop. Uh, it's like a vintage resale type of store, but it was really small and like there just wasn't really much there. So I, dr I did drive a little ways to go to a Super Target because y'all know the ones like in the city aren't really like there's they don't have much to offer and honestly the super target i went to it was like okay but like it still wasn't i don't know it was weird i just like hold everything to the standard of the tuscaloosa target and nothing beats it but it's because it caters to people like my age so of course i like that one more but from target i got these this like little snack mix because i was hungry when i was leaving target um i got a anniversary card for mine and griffin's anniversary but he's sitting over there so i'm not gonna pull it out I got two bags of this vanilla chocolate chip granola because it's my, literally my favorite granola and I can't get it at HEB. Um, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. And then I got some multivitamins, just a Target brand, some vitamin C. So we're out of that. And then some melatonin because we're out of that. They didn't have the Vitafusion awake refreshed ones that I really like, but these have the same amount of melatonin in them. And these just don't have L-theanine, which is what the other ones have that I really like. So I got that, which I don't really even use melatonin all that often. It's just when I need it. I just miss you. I was so excited to like go and shop around or whatever today just because I haven't, like I said, I ha literally haven't really done it since I moved in and I like went and got the things I needed. I was really looking for more home type of stuff, like if there was any type of like decor which i really don't need anymore but i was just looking to see if anything stood out um kind of looking at other like another fall throw pillow to replace the white off-white one i have since all of our bedding's like pure white and then like um just a few other like little random home things like that i was looking for like a bath mat because the one we had um i accidentally like ruined it in the washer so i was looking for like that kind of stuff and like honestly nothing was really like calling out my name and clothes wise i, I just went into lululemon so i could like feel um, some of their new leggings just to, like see what they felt like and everything but I knew I wasn't really gonna be getting anything and then I went in anthropology just to see like any of their decor or whatever and candles so let me show you all the rest of what I got towel wrap from anthropology um, I've heard good things about them and they have good reviews online it's from the brand Aki I guess is how you say it or Aqui <laughs> um, and it's like a rapid dry hair wrap I've been really wanting to try one of those for my curly hair and um, I got this candle which I wasn't planning on getting a candle because I don't necessarily like need any right now but it's not really like a fall specific scent either but first of all the jar is gorgeous for fall and it's the Vol Voluspa I don't know how you say it um Baltic Amber so it's like amber resin sandalwood and vanilla orchid and I've just never smelled a candle like this before and it's like a very clean cozy fall smell it's the best way i can describe it i wouldn't have bought it if i had ever smelled anything like it before but since it's like such a unique smell that i love so much i was like you know what i'm getting it and then i got um four of these little plate bowls from target they're just plain black they were literally four dollars a piece so i got four of them which is like so cheap and all of our plates and bowls and stuff are like mix and match from my college dorm, my college apartment, and then Griffin's apartment. And a lot of the stuff is chipped and broken and that kind of thing. So I just wanted to get some replacements to like gradually kind of phase out the stuff that's broken and doesn't really have a reason to be there anymore. But I have grocery pickup at 3.30 at HEB, so I'm going to go do that soon. Um, but I'm gonna go run in Trader Joe's right before it, which I hate that I'm like literally driving all over the place today, but um it's if i get it all done today i won't have to like worry about going back out but i just need to get a few things at trader joe's so we'll go do that soon okay really quickly gonna share a grocery haul with you all it's 4 30 so it's much later and i actually um have to film some 
sponsor content in a minute, so I need to get to doing that ASAP, but I'm gonna show y'all a quick grocery haul. So this is H-E-B curbside, and then I'll show y'all the Trader Joe's stuff, because it was only a few things at Trader Joe's, but got some raspberries, more Planet Oat vanilla creamer. This is like literally my favorite. Um, this Del Primo guacamole flavor, flavored sauce. It's so freaking good. We love it. Um, I don't know if anywhere else sells it, but I've only seen it at H-E-B. Um, Fat-free refried black beans, this arrowroot flour for a recipe, Dave's Epic Everything Bagels. This is like the best trail mix ever, the Texas Heat trail mix from H-E-B. We got two packs of it because both of us love it. Um, two packs of rice, um, wild-caught cod, broccoli, green onion, garlic, salmon. This is from Trader Joe's. I should put that over here. And um, chicken sausage, baby cucumbers, spaghetti squash, yogurt, more yogurt, little pastry sheet for a recipe. Um, that's also Trader Joe's and um, avocados. And then I ordered Topo Chico's, but they were out of stock, but it's also got eggs. And then from Trader Joe's, I just got two packs of dried mango, um, the plain kind that's like not sweetened or whatever. And then I got two cold brews. I'm gonna make this tonight with salmon. Um, sounds so good. I'm really excited to try it. And then I got more of the Seco Peach Bellini. I was thinking about it the other day and I thought I had some and I didn't. So I just got some. Had to get more of the vegan oatmeal and chocolate chip cookies and then street corn. Um, and I have all my recipes planned out. So that kind of covers everything for the week. Got some packages and I got this awesome PR package from Ithaca Hummus. I love their stuff. And they even sent bagels. Now let's checking out our food from Chewy. We just auto ship it, so it's a lot easier to do. But you have some food in your bowl if you want to go eat it. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? And I also got this thick boy in the mail. This one's so much bigger than the others. Ugh. Not really like a ton bigger, but it's definitely like bigger. I am dreading starting this. I start Wednesday, but I realize I have like six and a half weeks until I will be testing. And I was talking to my friend Logan and she just took far recently. And she was like, you honestly could start like a week from now and like be okay. So, which I probably won't do that, but I'm probably gonna start like Thursday or Friday instead of Wednesday, just to give myself some more time. Cause I'm still so exhausted um, from studying for audit. Cause I didn't take a single day off studying for audit. Um, so it was like four and a half weeks or five weeks of straight studying every single day. And every single day was full time, except for like probably five where I had to do like other stuff, but yeah. lemon butter salmon with rosemary and garlic sea salt, crispy um, garlic green beans with lemon butter, and I just made like a white wine butter sauce for the ravioli. I don't really like a lot of, I don't know, like ravioli itself is already really heavy, so like doing sauce too sometimes is like way too rich. And this is um, the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli that I got Trader Joe's today. Um, but yeah, I just did garlic and the plant-based butter and white cooking wine and then some seasoning and just kind of like toss it in there after it finished cooking, so. Hello everyone, it is like 9.40 or something like that. I am here, I have my computer and I just did, um, or I folded all of our laundry that's been sitting in here for a minute um, and staring at my extremely full laundry hamper. So I'm gonna fold more laundry very soon, but I just needed to get it out of the way, like just driving me crazy. So I went ahead and folded and put all that away and Griffin's studying in the living room gave up on watching the Astros game and um, I just wanted to like chill. I think I might be going to Ren Fest with my brother and sister-in-law for Halloween here in Houston. So I was like getting 
stuff for my costume because I was like I should probably go ahead and order that and a lot of the stuff for the costume is like out of stock and I think it's because everybody does this costume and um yeah so I was trying to find some stuff I'm gonna have my little LED candles on and I want to start reading something over the next few days I want to read like two books during this like little short like four day break I'm having um but I don't know if I want to read Shoe Dog I'm like 18% through with A Court of Thorn and Roses, which is like nothing at all. Um, but I'm not in the mood to read that right now, but I hate that I've already started it. <sighs> I think I'm going to try Ugly Love or a Kristen Hanna book because I haven't read any Kristen Hanna books yet. And I also really want to read Shoe Dog, which is like a, I don't know if it's an autobiography or a biography, but... I want to read um, one of those, so I'll probably start one of those tonight, but I just wanted to update y'all. I love, like, chilling in my room and having the fake candles on and, like, lighting my candle because it's just, like, so peaceful, and I, like, don't spend any of my time during the day in the room, so this is, like, a sanctuary. It's, like, nice and peaceful, and I, like, look forward to being able to come in here and unwind at night. Um, I still need the shower, and we're going to take Ella out in a little bit. Okay guys, I just crawled in bed, um, took a body shower, and we walked Ella. I'm super sleepy, and I just sprayed like the sleep spray I have from CVS. It's this uh, Calm Sleep Mist. They sent it to me when I worked with them, and it's in this little blue bottle. It's a mix of lavender, chamomile, clary sage, and frankincense, and it smells phenomenal and I swear it like puts me to sleep like, I don't take melatonin I just spray that over my pillows and I'm like snoozing as soon as I lay down so um but yeah thank you so much for watching today's vlog be sure to check out drop in the description box down below and stay tuned for more vlogs I'm gonna do my best to like keep the content engaging and interesting even though like every day is literally the exact same when I'm am studying but I'm gonna I'm trying to like be think of ways to like make things uh more entertaining for you all I guess and just like show more even though I don't really leave my apartment that much but um today was one of those days where I was literally was not home like all day and it felt great and then as soon as I got home I was like man I love being home <laughs> but um yeah I love you guys and be sure to subscribe turn on post notifications give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it follow me on social media link down below check out my podcast all the good stuff um and I will talk to you on my next vlog